So today I'm going to show you how to claim your profile as an artist on Apple Music. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stein and today I want to show you briefly how to claim your artist profile on Apple Music. And of course, this is after you've uploaded uh, music through a distributor, say CD Baby, DistroKid, TuneCore, Ditto, whatever you, whatever distributor you use. Once you distribute your music through the distributor, they will create a profile for you on the various platforms like Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon Music. And then it's up to you in order for you to sign in and get into the back end of those particular platforms, you have to claim your profile. So the distributor is going to create a profile for you, but you have to go into the back end and claim that, prove it's your email address, prove it's your identity. Then you can sign into things like artists for Spotify or, um, Apple Music for artists, and which is a new which is a new feature, I think. Uh, and and I haven't claimed my account yet for um, my my artist name Matt Steinfeld, which I just released a single, so I haven't had the opportunity to claim that. So I want to show you just uh, just how easy it is. You can do this yourself very very quickly. So I'm going to switch to my screen real quick, and we'll keep going. Okay, so here we are on a just a blank browser, and I'm just going to pretend like I don't know what it is. Apple Artist Claim Profile. You know, you can type in something like that. Okay, there it is. Claim your account, Apple Music for Artists. Okay, so if you don't know, if you don't know what the web address is, you know, this is it. Artist.apple.com. You know, you just you can just type that. I can put this into the uh, description of this video. So if you're wondering whether where that is, or you can just Google what I did. All right. So, do you have you can claim your account? Artists and artist managers can request access to Apple Music for artists by claiming their page. So you don't necessarily even have to be the artist. Let's say you're a label, or you paid for someone to record some music, and now you are claiming their page for them on their behalf, or you're representing them. Okay, so you can claim your own artist page. You can claim it as a label rep for an artist. Okay, so all of this is pretty much self-explanatory. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And for this, I'm not going to, you know, type, you know, reveal my personal information. So we'll just keep it moving. I'm going to type in my password. Okay, and now we're signed in. So, I, I guess I haven't claimed it for either MC Stein or Matt Steinfeld. As you may know, Matt, you may not know, but I, I release music under two different names for different, for z different genre, genres. So, I do uh, old school hip-hop through MC Stein. So, I guess I can just claim this account. Um, but let's say it doesn't pop up. Um, so, that's, this is my account with uh, Apple Music for Artists, and I'm going to... I could claim MC Stein, and I will do that later, but I'm just going to... I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Request Artist Access. Just to make it clear for anybody who doesn't get that page immediately. Okay, so enter the artist name or paste the iTunes Store artist link. Uh, so if you, if you found out that your music has been uploaded to Apple Music... You can go to iTunes and find the link that your album is under. Uh, or you can just type in your artist name. So, Matt Steinfeld. Okay, there it is. There's the single that I released, Perfect Storm. So, I'll click on that. And it says, select an album. We need to make sure you've selected the correct artist to verify your account. Okay, so that's it. That just... There it is. All right, so I'm just going to fill out this information. Bear with me as we go through this whole thing. 
So one of the things that you want to do, it says that, it, that in order to gain access to your account as quickly as possible, if you've used any of these TuneCore DistroKid CD Baby or Believe, be sure to click Add and sign into that, and it'll automatically, hopefully, populate a lot of the information that, you, that they're asking for. So I'm just gonna scroll down, no label, I'm self-managed. All right, thanks for submitting your request through the high demand of Apple Music for Artists. Okay, just saying that it's gonna lead, need a little bit of time, but we just need to be patient. Okay. So once you're approved, it says you can share access with others. So like if you have a manager or if you have someone that you're working with that you trust, make sure that you trust this person. Um, and once you once once this goes through and they give you access to your artist page on Apple, you can look and look at the uh, the data, I guess the algorithm, the stuff that, that you you know you find out who where people are listening from, how old they are how long they listen, that type of thing. So it's it's good to know what kind of people are listening to your music in order to maybe hit them up with an ad, uh, paid advertisement, like on social media or something. All right, so that's it. When you're done, you sign out, and that's that. We'll switch now back to the screen. All right, so it's that easy. Uh, if you have uploaded through any of the distributors... And notice that uh, you may have a private label. You may have, you know, your own way of distributing the music, whatever that may be. Most of you, I think, will be uh, using some type of service like DistroKid or CD Baby. But if you don't, that's how it works. Once your music is on Apple uh, Music through your distributor, you have to go into Apple's back end, sign in, and claim that account as your own. And once you do that, then you'll have control over certain things like your artist photo. So if you ever go to iTunes or Apple Music and you see people's like profile or, or like at the top, the advertisement for certain artists and you're like, whoa, that's a really cool picture. And how did they, you know, how did Apple get that picture? That's all through the back end of Apple Music for artists. So it's a really good way for you to kind of put your best foot forward. You put your information out, your photo the various things that that you know you want. So if someone clicks on your album and they're like, oh, who's this? And they click on your biography, then they read that biography and see more pictures. That's everything that you put up yourself through this back-end program, Apple Music for Artists. So if you have music on uh, any of the digital streaming platforms, it's really, really good to go into your account and claim that because if, if you don't, people will go to your music on the platforms say on Apple Music in this case, and if you don't have a picture up and you don't have a bio, it kind of looks like you're not taking it seriously or you're not professional. So if you put music up, it's always good to to go in there and claim that and make it look as be you know the best you can. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, I'll be happy to answer that as soon as possible. If this was helpful, please like, subscribe, share it with someone else that may be kind of curious how this works. Uh, we'll see it. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.